What's up, what's up? It's your boy Damone and Braids. That's right, Braids are finally coming to Dragalia Lost. New game introduced by Nintendo on the 27th. I really, really wanted to hate this game, guys. I really, really did. <laughs> but I'm loving it. I've been playing it legitimately non-stop since it dropped. Um, I'm getting close to content cap, and just as I was worried about what's going to happen when you run out of content in this game, they announced that they're releasing a 16-man raid. Now, let me explain to you guys a little bit how this works. For those of you guys who haven't played Dragalia Lost yet, let me give you guys a little taste. We'll, we'll read about this, and I'll talk about what this is, and I'll talk about my, my take kind of on this game here. So, the prince and his companions arrive at a volcano to slay the fiends there, but instead find themselves caught in a battle uh, for fate of the world. With the help of a passionate instructor and a devoted dragon, uh, can they halt a Deadly Fane's revival before it's too late? Coming soon to Dragalia Lost, ro Loyalty's Requiem, the world's fate is in our hands. Okay, So basically what this is, is um, there's a co-op function in the game where you literally can play with your, your friends or just random people where you're actually controlling the game on your phone, which is sick. And this is crazy because I've been playing Summoner's War and other Gacha type games for a long time and I've gotten so used to being in a position where I'm just hurry, ready to just get to the point where I can auto and just not pay attention to the game. Just play, replay, play, replay. However, this game brings a very unique element to, to the fray here where... I'm actually enjoying playing the game. Like when I'm on my phone, I feel like I'm playing an actual game like on a console or on a computer or something and enjoying the interaction between players. Now, are there some things that they can optimize about the game? Absolutely. But so far, the game's absolutely amazing. I have some gripes with the game, which I'll talk about in a different video, but this is not that video. So when looking at this, you can team up. So how this raid boss is gonna work is you can team up um, to take on, take up, Take on, excuse me, a powerful boss with up to 16 adventurers at once. Now, normal co-op, how it normally works, guys, is you'll kind of like queue up and then you'll team up with three other people and you'll have a party. Somebody, you know, in whatever role you want, you can coordinate. If you want to be the healer, somebody else will be the healer, whatever, you just work it out, okay? Now, in this case, when you're playing by yourself or solo mode, you have a party of four on your own, so four characters that you've built. And in this situation, you're now bringing your characters with you into the fray, and then the other three people that you team up with also are going to bring three people uh, with them as well. So you'll team up with three other people. Everybody has a team of four. From the looks of it, it's going to be fire element. And then with that fire element, you just kind of you know coordinate you know what's going on. Uh, you know with your team whatever and then you have a raid event from what I understand about this event Let me see here if I can get some more information for you guys here um, This event is going to become available on October 3rd during this event you can use call play to fight against the raid boss You must clear chapter 2-1 normal at least to participate in the raid quest You must clear chapter 2-1 normal to participate in co-op play period <laughs> so if you guys aren't there yet Definitely go knock that out. Now, what I also understand about these raid quests, guys, is uh, from what, what's going to happen is as you do this raid quest, you'll get rewards and you'll be able to have access to a temporary character. And this temporary character, once you complete a certain amount of quests, you'll be able to keep this character in your roster forever. Um, and then, of course, you got to earn the dragon. And then there's other rewards that you can get based on successful completion of the particular events. So... I'm really, really curious to see how this pans out, you know, in this game. Because so far, honestly, guys, this game is absolutely effing amazing. Um, been having fun. It's making me ultimate Summer Sword companions while I'm, like, farming Necro or doing my thing or whatever. Like, <laughs> I could just play this game and just play replay, you know. So I'm having a lot of fun, and there's a lot of stuff coming. I was really curious as to what they were going to do with, like, you know, the end game and stuff like that. Especially, you know, like I said, I'm getting close to content cap here. But they did not disappoint <laughs> really fast. Raids are coming out on October 3rd, so make sure you guys are ready for that, you know, or if you're not ready, get ready, or try to get ready, but I feel like it's going to be dope. They're going to have multiple difficulty levels and all that jazz, so no matter where you're at in the game, you should be able to participate as long as your base requirements are done. I'll be doing more content on uh, the particular raid when it drops. Just so you guys can see it, I'm sure I'll be able to do the hardest difficulty, if not... 
I'll figure out the way to do it and uh, I'll present you guys with that, you know, as we, you know, pull through and do our thing. So if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns about particular units or builds or whatever that I'm working on right now, uh, definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'll be happy to assist and you guys can definitely expect to see more Dragalia Laws content as we continue to move forward. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, Damone. We'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.